it's another video on EC Nano Reef. I hope everybody's doing good. So I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a tank update. Haven't given you guys one of those in a while. So first things first, as you can see, I've got a new coral here. This is an open brain coral. Uh, actually got it from a local reefer here. Um, his regal tank and his copper band butterfly were pecking on the coral, and he didn't want them to kill it. So he was looking for a new home and. Yeah, I had it. I had a home for the coral. Um, I did swap him uh, some other corals for it. So the fish don't actually peck the coral to eat it, but they actually enjoy the slum that the um, coral gives off. So it's almost like a, a toxin that the fish enjoys, which probably puts him in a little bit of a state of mind or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know how true this is or. Um, if it's even a thing but if it is it's pretty fascinating i know a while back there was a thing on uh, bbc where dolphins were passing around a puffer fish and also they say that the puffer fish release, releases a toxin that the dolphins actually enjoy it puts him in a bit of a trance so if it is the the same concept with regards to you know the corals doing that to certain fish. I also gave the corals all a nice feed of uh, coral feast from Planktonics this evening. Even though they're all closed a bit because it is a little bit late, you can see a lot of, uh, you can see a lot of them are still quite puffy. I've got quite a cool little clip of a, a time lapse of this open brain eating a black sea sprat from Planktonics. I also recently got these zoas over here. I can't actually think of the name of it. Uh, if you guys know what it's called, let me know down in the comments below. If I'm not mistaken, I think they're called Pandoras. And then I've got that frag of Sunny D's that I've moved over there. I thought those two would look cool together. And then over there, sorry, over there. I had my uh, Walt Disney Acro Frag. I don't know if you guys remember that. The Zoas, the Rusters, and the Scrambled Eggs were growing over the Frag, and I recently actually just pulled it off, and I've put it here on the Frag Rack. So I just need to get myself some glue, and then I'm going to refrag these. Well, I'm going to cut off these Zoas and put them onto Frag Plugs, and yeah, save that Walt Disney, because it's definitely. Um, getting overgrown by the zoas there. Other than that, everything is doing very, very good. Um, if you look over there, the forest fire is quite a little bit of shade. Well, it, it's actually getting shaded from the lights, so that piece is probably going to break off very, very soon um, with the white skeleton showing there. So that might also turn into frags. Hopefully, it doesn't break off. I don't really want to frag my SPS. Um, talking about that, this bubblegum digi of a year, same thing happened, and my male Antheus swam into it the other night and actually bumped the top of it off. And I put it onto a little frag like this. So I'm going to let that one settle. And Hopefully, it grows out into another little nice piece. Um, also, my light, um, my fan packed up on my light, and this light on my tank here, I've actually borrowed it from another guy. He had a spare, and yeah, luckily, he was willing to borrow it to me. Both my Ferris units that I've got are giving problems, and they are in for repairs at the moment, and I hope that. They can both be fixed. Well, the one has actually been fixed already. Um, 
hopefully the other one can get fixed it's not able to connect to the wireless controller if the guy repairing it is able to get it connected to the wireless controller i've actually had um yeah the other side i've actually had new brackets made as you can see there um for the unit and what i'm going to be doing is so yeah pretty much going to look like that i'm going to, going to be running two ferrous units on my tank so this one will one of them will come more forward and one of them will be more back and that way i won't have so much shade over the the corals it will get equal uh equal lights uh this light is quite strong for the tank so what i'm going to be doing is i'll be running them both at obviously not full spectrum maybe half half um and that way yeah like i said it will just give the tank like a really really good balance of of color and no shading there's the reef eco cube from planktonics and i must say the pods absolutely love that thing a lot of the times at nights i will go there with my flash and you'll just see all the pods running around it one thing i would also like to show you guys is this goni so that goni apura i had it i've probably had it for about a year and a half now and it just seems to be dying back more and more and more so if you guys have any tips or hints that I can do um, in order to get that Garni looking better, please let me know down in the comments below as well. I've tried moving it uh, into more flow, I've tried moving it into less flow where it is now actually. Um, higher lights, everything, I can't get it to come right. So yeah, if you guys have any advice for me, please let me know down in the comments below. Is my little... Uh, local convict that I caught and if you guys remember he was quite small also looking very very good getting nice and fat and while I'm on the topic with him what I've noticed every time I change my lights over to blue or in the evenings the moonlight phase um, he tends to pick on my, my candy canes and even sometimes on this favia but I think because of the color, I might also be under correction. He's probably mistaking it for um, algae. He only does it really when the, when the lights turn blue. Let me switch off the flow and I can give you guys a little bit of a top down update. There's a little bit of an update from the top. There's a nice little plug that I've made. I want to take some of those eagle eyes off and possibly add more rasters. Now, over here, that, where am I pointing? That acro there actually got killed by that one there the other day. Um, what happened was my, my lights like I mentioned previously, they had packed up and that acro, yeah, you know, coral warfare um, actually attacked that one. So what I did was I broke that piece off and I fragged it. That's what that piece of acro is there, it's from that one. It's also changing color. I didn't know what this acro was when I bought it, and now I see it's starting to get a little bit of color to it. Um, I broke also a piece of my Monty plate. Where am I pointing? There. It's actually lying there. The flow pushed it there, so I must take it off. Um, and just an idea, what do you guys think of me breaking this whole bird's nest out, that big green bird's nest, and taking that frog spawn there or the pink tip one and putting it there in place of this uh, green bird's nest yeah and one last thing guys 
Uh, last year sometime I had quite a bad outbreak of uh, green cyanobacteria and I bought a thing of ChemiClean which my tank uses three tiny little scoops I can actually show you guys what the scoop looks like yeah my, my tank uses three of those tiny little scoops um, so yeah guys I absolutely swear by this stuff if it's used correctly you will not go wrong it gives your tank such a nice clean um, I do it as a, like a little bit of a maintenance every now and then you've got to run it for 48 hours no longer um, if you've got cyano you can even see it starting to eat away at it uh, on the first day uh, you definitely have to either raise your schema up or like I've got there I've got a little uh, air restrictor otherwise the, the schema goes absolutely crazy you've also got to remove your carbon and any like uh, phosgard or purigen or anything like that um, you've got to take that out the tank and after 48 hours of running your chemiclean um, you do a water change and yeah you can add your carbon and whatnot back your schema won't come right straight away so just keep it adjusted and slowly slowly adjust it back to where it needs to be and yeah that's that's pretty much it for that for the for the update um i also got um this nori clip holder from reef magic i must just get a piece of nori and pop it in there you close it up put on your glass and then your fish can actually pick through those holes at the nori so yeah you can get la phyto copods rotifer brown shrimp uh brown shrimp hatcheries nori holders frag racks, everything from reef magic anyway guys that's it for this video it was a little update not the fanciest of videos um but i haven't uploaded in probably about two weeks and i had so much i want to say but you know when you when you start recording and looking at the tank you get sidetracked and yeah um also trying to start a new little garden down here um follow me on instagram guys i'm always uploading pictures of my tank um it's not always full tank shots but it's uh nice close-ups of the corals you know with the proper lens on and uh even like the macro lens and stuff like that so you get some really really awesome close-ups of the corals and just more constant updates instagram will be linked down in the description below go check it out follow me if you haven't already and yeah i'll follow you guys back so guys yeah if you did like the video Please remember to click that like button, remember to subscribe, and also please don't forget to leave some comments down below. Um, let me know what you guys think I can do about this Gani, and also um, if you guys know the proper name of those Zoas. And yeah, any other advice you guys could give me with regards to even the open brain, I'd really appreciate it. Cool, cheers guys.